Holy shit, guys. Whoa. <clears throat> so before I get started, um, I just want to say what the hell, because this shit is unbelievable. I went from having a uh, my highest viewed video being 59 views and like 60 something subs to now I just broke 200 subs and I just made a video talking about how I just broke 100 because I thought that's where it was going to cap out. You guys are insane. So thank you for clicking on my shitty little video about the RTX 3080 shortage. Um, that's in insane. And thank you to everybody who subbed and commented and even disliked. I said that uh, previously, like whatever the criticism might be, if it's, you know, legitimate criticism, that's okay. I'll take it. That's awesome. So thank you again. Insane. But um, I'm back because I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit. Um, NVIDIA has officially responded to the shortage. So I just pulled up this article. Uh, this is from WCCF Tech about an hour ago from a uh, author by the name of Hassan Mujtaba. So sorry if I fucked that up. Um, but basically, NVIDIA is apologizing, saying they didn't know this would happen. They didn't know that their amazing uh, $700 answer to a double the performance of a $1,200 card was going to be popular and wanted by customers. They had no idea. So they made an official statement and it reads something along these lines. Um, this morning we saw unprecedented demand for the GeForce RTX 3080 at global retailers, including the NVIDIA online store. At 6 a.m. Pacific, we attempted to push the NVIDIA store live. Despite preparation, Bruh. the NVIDIA store was inundated with traffic and encountered an error. We were able to resolve the issues and sales began registering normally. To stop bots and scalpers on the NVIDIA store, we're doing everything humanly possible, including manually reviewing orders, to get these cards in the hands of legitimate customers. Over 50 global retailers had inventory at 6 a.m. Pacific. Our NVIDIA team and partners are shipping more RTX 3080 cards every day to retailers. We apologize to our customers for this morning's experience. Okay, so good on NVIDIA for apologizing. Um, I think it's important that they try to at least make customers feel somewhat comfortable that they're trying to crack down on the scalpers, but also trying to get more stock in because that's scaring a lot of people right now into panic buying. And we talked about how some of those cards are upwards of, you know, seventy hundred thousand dollars but there are a few that are, you know, 1100 bucks that might be legitimate that some people might say, well, I'll just do that. So, uh, cool for Nvidia on getting that figured out. Now, the question is, again, just going to be how quickly are we talking? Because if it's, you know, a couple more weeks of this and maybe AMD does announce like actual performance bumps and maybe they do some comparisons, uh, it could hamper NVIDIA's ability to, to generate sales going forward. I know AMD has not had the best luck with um, driver support, things like that, but if they can manage to put out a card and you got your guys like Jay's Two Cents, you got your guys like Linus and Steve from Gamers Nexus, all those boys, Kyle from Bitwit, if they get their hands on whatever this new uh, Big Navi card is going to be and it compares to it, because the smartest thing AMD could do, in my opinion, would be to lift that embargo that NVIDIA had on those guys where they weren't allowed to talk performance until release day. Um, lift that embargo and let them compare it to the nvidia cards i think that would be super smart now i wonder if there's something in nvidia's you know ndas that they have to talk about where they they can't directly compare them to a certain date or something could be but who knows those guys they'll they'll figure it out uh if you don't already watch them i, I imagine you would if you found my channel somehow you probably know about them but yeah good news uh that's that's hopefully going to help a lot of people People are generally pretty pissed off in the comments and on Twitter and all that. So uh, if you did manage to get one of these mythical devices, uh, let us know. Let us know what it's like having something so unobtainable. Um, if you got it on hand, you know, talk to us about it. If you've got one coming in the mail, let us know. I think it's going to be interesting to see how this compares and if it was worth all the hype and if I know it, you. if you're watching this, I told you not to. 
But if for some reason you're one of those people who actually went and bought one of those like thousand dollar eBay cards or whatever, talk to us about your thought process. Let us know how you're feeling. Um, and let's just, let's just stick together. So, uh, thanks again, everyone for the crazy response to that video and all the subs. Uh, it's actually seriously crazy. I don't, I don't get it. Uh, people keep talking about production quality. I'm like, the hell do you guys mean production quality? <laughs> I got a Samsung G mic plugged into a galaxy note 20 and that's how I'm recording this. So take that, do it, you know, do whatever you need to do with it. But again, my name's Alex. This is uh, ATB Gaming. Please, one more reminder to come check out uh, the new channel, which is primarily where we'll be doing most of our work on uh, the buddy system. We got a podcast that we're doing. We got some Let's Plays we're doing. And, you know, it's kind of a variety thing. So uh, you might see some random shit on there. But uh, all right. Yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks again. Uh, super, super, super grateful. Thanks. Bye-bye.